who is an expert some will say an expert is someone who is very knowledgeable others will say an expert is someone who excels at something someone who does something so well with such ease grace finesse and swag that leaves the rest of us in awe and wonder in the past i would say an expert is something i would like to be called even though i wasn't exactly sure what i wanted to be an expert in fast forward to this present time and i would never forget the day i heard brenda bashar's definition of who an expert is an expert is simply a committed servant and a committed student on a given subject matter now that definition his definition just blew my mind i had never heard anything like that it was a 180 degree turn from my own concept of who an expert was a committed servant a committed student now that's what it is experts are leaders and a real expert is a student leader and a servant leader now the key word there is the word humility it takes humility to be an expert a leader a high performer because it takes humility to serve when you feel you ought to be served it takes humility to be a student when you feel you are qualified or overqualified to teach others in a previous epi episode of this no excuses video series i talked about the importance of having a servant's mindset as a high performer in this particular episode i'll be talking about the importance of having a student's mindset so we can become those high performers that god has created us to be because here's what happens as we begin to make some progress on our journey towards high performance as we begin to make some progress on our journey towards becoming the very best version of ourselves we start to get a big head we start to feel like we're very smart we're very intelligent we're very knowledgeable we start to feel like know-it-alls the interesting thing is that this know-it-all attitude isn't something that we deliberately plan to have and display it just sorts of creeps up on us this know-it-all attitude is displayed or comes to bear when we meet other people who have ideas beliefs opinions that differ from ours what do we do we shoot them down we jump on them criticize them and shoot them down and end up shooting the people in the process we do this because we believe or to our minds we know better after all we have some results to show but it's very important that we keep in mind like scripture says that knowing isn't everything if it becomes everything then some people end up as know-it-alls who treat others as know nothings real knowledge isn't that insensitive now that's what it is that if we are going to be those high performers that god has created us to be a key element is how we treat other people that we treat other people with respect that we treat them with the same respect that we would like to be treated with and one way that we can show that respect is by respecting their ideas their beliefs their opinions even when they are contrary to ours we do this because we have that student mindset we are open to learn we are humble because we realize one very important truth that every single one person that we meet probably knows something that we don't and if they do know something that we don't know then we can learn from them we can gain something from them despite the amount of knowledge or wisdom that we feel or we believe that we have now this principle doesn't just apply to people it applies to places and experiences it's humility is this student mindset that helps us to not just learn from people but to also learn from places and from experiences when we are so focused on our ego when we are so focused on how that person didn't greet us first how that person said good morning but didn't add sa or ma despite the fact that we are older than them and more experienced than them when we are so focused on everything that was bad with that particular place that we visited how the weather didn't suit us how the traffic didn't boost our comfort 
when we're so focused on everything that was negative about that experience, how about, when we're so focused on how the experience didn't entertain us or enlighten us, when we're so focused on our ego, on ourselves, what happens is that we end up missing out on those precious and priceless gems of learning that we could have mined out of those people, places and experiences. Now, it's this mindset of learning that I had towards my 2020 Lagos City Marathon experience. It's what happened was that I approached the entire experience with the mindset of learning as a student. I saw myself as a student of the experience. And every time I would start to get a big head, either from the progress I was making or from the struggle I was having while preparing for the marathon, I would say to myself, Kyrie, calm down. This is not the goal here. The goal here is for you to learn. You continue to see yourself as a student of this experience. Now, for me, that was what changed the dynamic. It was that student's mindset that helped me to glean the precious learning points from preparing for running and actually finishing the 2020 Lagos City Marathon. Precious learning points that I would have not seen in the slightest if my mind was so clouded and so occupied with my own self-importance and pride from probably the knowledge and wisdom I felt I had or from what I was going through. Those same learning points and learning pieces that I gleaned are what I share with you right now in this No Excuses video series. And that's the magic that for us to be able to teach better, for us to be able to teach, we need to be willing to learn. That willingness to learn and decipher from the seemingly lost and dull. That willingness to see the magic in the muddy and the mundane. To say to ourselves that there is a very, very powerful lesson to be learned here if we will only take the time to put our ego aside, dig deeper and look closer. I like the way Kevin Hart puts it. He says that I learned how to hear a no, a stupid, a get out of here with that and not take it personally, but rather say what's the lesson to be learned here. And that's what real high performers do. They understand that it's all about the lessons to be learned, the lessons to be learned from that person, that place, that experience. And they are able to do that because they have learned how not to take things personally. They understand that get out is not an insult. It simply means go out. And that when somebody says you are useless, it only simply means you are using less of your potential. And that's what it is, that if we are going to be those high performers that God has created us to be, then we need to remain open. We need to have that mindset to learn and to understand that at any point in our journey, feeling like we have arrived or like we know it all is only going to end up being a stumbling block towards that thing that we truly desire. And that's to become the best version of ourselves. To live a life of no excuses, a life where we go on to crush our goals, exceed limits, break barriers, and go on to be a pleasant surprise, not just to those people around us, but to ourselves. It's helpful to remember that true knowledge exists in knowing that we know nothing. A true genius, a real genius realizes that he or she knows absolutely nothing and that without humility, sorry, there can be no humanity.